Hey there. Well, let's pick this apart. I was not trying to say that older ideas are always better than progressive newer ideas. But I really didn't take any effort in making that clear. The truth is that some traditional ideas suck and some newer ideas suck. That doesn't mean they all suck. As people felt my video was an appeal to tradition, I think a lot of people commit an appeal to novelty far more often, which is the notion that anything newer or different is always better. That moving forward always means positive progress. There are some newer ideas from the past decade that are totally reasonable ideas that would get massively questioned and critiqued if they were brought up in the 1990s. There are also a number of reasonable newer ideas that would be accepted in the 90s if they were brought up. It's like, oh, I'd never thought of that, yeah. And there are some ideas that are so far removed from reality that still look crazy to a lot of people today that would seem insane asylum worthy in the 1990s. Again, not all newer ideas are better than older ones. And yes, not all older ideas are better than newer ones. There's the newer push to abandon gender blindedness and color blindedness and replace them with a bunch of things that uh, different identity groups might be going through and treat them accordingly, even if it's completely inaccurate. Gender blindedness and color blindedness are not actually about being, you know, not being able to see race or, or gender. You obviously see those things. It's about making sure you treat anyone of any demographic the same as you treat anyone else regardless of obvious differences. Even if you hold bad stereotypes in your head uh, about the people that are in front of you, you toss those stereotypes aside in order to be able to treat them like everyone else. The golden rule, which is to treat people the way that you wish to be treated, is very similar. And as I've said in many videos, it's being abandoned as not being empathetic enough. It's even considered the enemy of progress by a lot of people because it doesn't take the lived experiences of different group identities into account. I think it's absurd to constantly fill our brains with uh, these different things that different group identities might have experienced. You'll never get it right. It's always changing. I think it's asking for trouble. Just treat people decently. It's far easier. You don't have to spend thousands at a college to learn about it and be smug about it. And you'll be right in social situations far more often than you'll be wrong. People get far more offended when you try to guess what they're going through and get it wrong than when someone just treats someone like, hey, I don't know you, hey, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day, whatever, right? Treat people like you do everyone else. There shouldn't be a problem. But if you if you get wrong, this, this virtue signaling, it's going to go south real quick. But, but let's keep doing that, right? Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't learn about different group identities if you, if you want to, if it's something that, that, it's just that we shouldn't have to. It shouldn't be a requirement. That's all I'm saying. You can't force people to be empathetic towards everything. As I've said before, we only have so much empathy. We can sympathize with the different plights of groups, but we can't truly be empathetic to it all. It's simply not a realistic expectation to put onto anyone. You can claim that you care. You can jump up and down and claim that you care. But it usually only goes as far as, you know, changing your icon on social media. Maybe adding a flag or a symbol to your profile. Maybe repeat some sort of slogan or ideological catchphrase. And, you know, verbally attack anyone who doesn't put on the same show as you do. Do everything that's easy to virtue signal, right? Have a joy, joy day!